This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King, and I want to thank you for joining us at Life at the Crossroads, a wonderful show where we'll talk about all the intersections of our lives and in our community. We're broadcasting live from Honolulu, Hawaii, which is kind of considered the crossroads of the world. We have people from all over the world who come and enjoy the wonderful Aloha life. And we want to talk about all the events and characters that we find here. We hope that you'll join us and have a great time. This show today is an example of just a wonderful group of people who do great things right here in our community. And uh, I think one of the things that makes it so fun to live in Hawaii is that you get to find out all this wonderful stuff about all the things that people do, and you get to take part in it. Today's first guest is not a stranger to Hawaii, although she's not here any longer. Her name is Florenza Denise Lee. She's a friend to many throughout the island, and she's just a beautiful ball of energy and positivity. Today, she'll share with us about life at the crossroads and how you can break forth from the crossroad and enjoy life at the crossroad. So please welcome with me today's first guest, Florenza Denise Lee. Hi, Florenza. Aloha. How are you today? I am doing marvelous, and I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I miss that. I miss the island. I'm sure you do. Uh, it's a beautiful place. How can you not miss it? <laughs> so it's where, beautiful place and beautiful people. <laughs> indeed, indeed, you've got that right. So where are you now? We're currently in Hampton, Virginia. Oh. So a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys just had some snow, didn't you? Uh, not yet, no. no. Well, uh, the D.C. area got it. We were we were spared for now. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad you were spared. I wish you were here because even without snow, it's cold. I'm sure. And today, yeah, of course, yeah. it was just a beautiful day in Hawaii, as always. But I won't rub that in. <laughs> Oh, jealous, jealous, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be, just come on back. <laughs> Florenza, I wanted to bring you on today just to share with us a little bit about who you are and what you do and just a little about life at the crossroads and how it's fun and sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit scary and you can embrace it. So just elaborate with that, with us a little bit about that. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I am Florenza and I wear a lot of hats. The ones that particularly fit our subject today would be uh, my hat of being a life coach as well as a military spouse. And my husband just recently retired, so I very well understand being in those crossroads. He served uh, 31 years in a few days uh, oh. in the Army. And so we are going through our own transition, our own crossroads right now as well. Wow. Well, thank you so much, first of all, to your husband for his re remarkable service. 31 years. That's a long time 31. to do anything. <laughs> you, you know, I tried to get him to do 40, but he told me that my ID card was brown and I didn't wear a uniform, so <laughs> my conversation ended. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. You can't tell them what to do. You're not in uniform. I get it. <laughs> well, listen, what makes you an authority or just an influential person on Crossroads Living, Life at the Crossroads? What is your title? Yeah, you know, as a life coach, and um, I have been tagged the term, the clarifier, and it's mm. because anyone that contacts me, if they are calling just due to being stuck in um, life itself or if they're stuck, um, say they're an author or a speaker and they feel stuck in where they are right there, um, I have a way of just within a matter of a few minutes identifying the, the situation and just bringing them to clarity. 
And so mm-hmm. that's my niche is just allowing clarity to come to that individual. And usually it is because they're at a crossroads. The crossroads simply mean that you were going in one direction and circumstances, situations, or whatnot has caused you to look at the direction in which you're traveling and take notice of a potential change. And um, we all know that change is a hard word for some. My mother used to say the only person that likes change is a baby. And so, um, you know, I, I bring all of that wisdom. I'm 54, a lot older than I look. It was that Hawaii yes. lifestyle that did that. <laughs> I was going to say, you look amazing. 54, I need to see some ID. <laughs> I'm not believing that. You look great. But, you know, you touched on something. You said usually if you're at a crossroads in life, it simply means a change, a change in direction. And I have to agree mm-hmm. with you. And sometimes those changes are dramatic, such as divorce, yes. um, death of a loved one, change in mm-hmm. career even. As you've mentioned already, mm-hmm. a change in your career is yeah. a life at the crossroads. But then there are times when a change is good. Talk to mm-hmm. us about mm-hmm. being at a crossroads when it's a good thing. You know, I actually believe that um, there are negative situations that can occur in our lives that we have the ability to create a positive outcome. And I am a firm believer in mindfulness. <clears throat> I believe that we are able to live in the moment right now. There are things that occur in our past that we're able to learn from, and we have the ability not to fret over what could come because it's not here yet. And so I would challenge anyone who's feeling like they are at a crossroad to just pause with where you are and look at what you have, not what you used to have, not what you want, but Mm. what do you have right now? What are you able to do right now with what you have? And sometimes when we're able to do that, we're able to free ourselves from the weight of the past mm-hmm. and the, the uncertainty mm-hmm. of the future and just take what we have right now. And once we do that, it allows for us to see clearly to better make that decision. Mm-hmm. If we should go right, left, stay put, or maybe that road in front of you that looks <clears throat> like it's um, not passable, that you just need to break through. And so there are many Mm. options that we have. We just don't always see them as being viable options. You know, you're saying something so good right there. First, I love the fact that you say pause and you should Mm -hmm. write that down. Pause and think about what you do have. And I think a lot of times introspection and and truly just being grateful. I think there is a moment in our lives when we are not as grateful for what we have as we should Mm -hmm. be or could be. And I think that often when we are able to pause and reflect Mm -hmm. and take in what we do have, that gives us clarity, as you know, as the clarifier, that sometimes life at the crossroads is not as bad as it may seem. Is that right? Correct. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. And the beauty of being mindful is enjoying free of judgment mm-hmm. and when we free ourselves from that judging mm-hmm. and just experience that moment uh-huh. then we're able to see clearly and we're able to make wiser decisions that's right what it is we are supposed to do that's right that's so good you see mm-hmm. this is why i love you <laughs> this is why it is so amazing to just have you here today just to talk and, and to help our viewers to learn that it's okay and it's going to be okay. I could sit here yes. and talk to you all day. Um, how can people get in touch with you? I know we have some information that we can share. How can others mm-hmm. reach you? Well, I am everywhere. So the fastest way is to go to florenza.org. I'm also on Facebook, uh, Florenza Denise Lee. I am on Instagram, Florenzo Lee. Um, I am on Twitter, LinkedIn. I am everywhere. WordPress. Um, I have an amazing WordPress um, blog that you're able to. So if you're getting all of those, 
um, just remember Floresa.org. Go to my website, and it has all the amazing information of everything that I'm doing right now and um, ways that you are able to contact me should, in fact, you need clarification. Okay. So you've heard it. If you need clarification, call the clarifier. Yes. <laughs> awesome. I look forward to um, just sharing more with you. I know you, you wear many hats. I know there are wonderful yes. things that you are involved in and that you um, do for others. And so we're looking forward to sharing and seeing you right here again at the crossroads. Florenza, awesome. thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here, for being my inaugural guest. And yes. we will be right back after this. Aloha. Aloha. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. When I was growing up, I was among the one in six American kids who struggle with hunger. And hungry mornings make tired days. Grumpy days. That kind of days. But with the power of breakfast, the kids in your neighborhood can think big and be more. When we're not hungry for breakfast, we're hungry for more. More ideas. More dreams. More fun. When kids aren't hungry for breakfast, they can be hungry for more. Go to hungeris.org and lend your time or your voice to make breakfast happen for kids in your neighborhood. Welcome to Sister Power. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, where we motivate, educate, empower, and inspire all women. We are live here every other Thursday at 4 p.m. and we welcome you to join us here at Sister Power. Aloha and thank you. Living in this crazy world, so caught up in the confusion, nothing is making sense for me and you. Maybe we can find a way, there's got to be solutions. To make a brighter day What do we do? We've got to give a little love Have a little hope Make this world a little better Try a little more Harder than before Hello, I'm Yukari Kunisue I'm your host of the new Japanese language show on Think Tech Hawaii called Konnichiwa Hawaii Broadcasting live every other Monday at 2 p.m. Please join us where we discuss important and useful information for the Japanese language community in Hawaii. The show will be all in Japanese. Hope you can join us every other Monday at 2 p.m. And welcome back. I am Keisha King, your host right here at The Crossroads. And I have with me a very special guest, my friend Tina Dag. Dagad, right? Dagad. Takad. Takad. Yeah. I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. We are at the crossroads and we are talking about your company, Mele Murals. It's not actually yours though. It's uh, Mele Murals Foundation. Yes. Founded by Estria. Estria Mirshiro, yes. Awesome. So talk to us a little bit about Mele Murals. What type of foundation is this? Well, we're a nonprofit foundation, and we basically go from island to island throughout the state and teach young children how to paint murals and share, learn about the story of their place. Okay. Yeah. Oh, painting murals for with children. Yes. Okay. Um, the program Melly Murals is actually um, a program that we work with students in the school in the Department of Education, and we teach them how to paint, paint murals. Um, but most importantly, I think what we do is we teach them about their place. Hmm. Um, art is not just canvas, a pencil to a canvas or a spray can to a wall. Uh, it, it goes more than that. And I think what Estria has done successfully in creating this pro program for Hawaii, for, for us, is to share the story of where we come from. Uh, hmm. Not many kids know where, they're, where, they, where they come from. Mm -hmm. So by incorporating art and modern muralism, mm -hmm. we're not just teaching the kids how to paint, we're teaching them how to um, take care of the land, take care of their place. We teach mm -hmm. them how to meditate and get inspiration for Wait, their gardens. Wait, stop right there. This yeah. is getting really good. <laughs> so, so you teach painting. Yes. You teach them where they come from. Yes. And you said meditation? Yes. 
Explain to me how this process works. How do you teach children how to meditate while they're painting? Is it while they're painting? Well, actually, it's a process. Um, so okay. it's kind of complex when someone asks what Melly Murals is about. Um, everyone has a different interpretation of what Melly Murals is. Um, from my perspective and what I've witnessed, um, I'm not the artist, um, okay. Estria is. And so what's your title? What do you do? I'm the operations manager, so oh. I do the behind the scenes. Wonderful. And so um, what I've learned through this process, as I experience it with um, Estria and our team, is that we teach kids how to ground themselves. Most times when we're taught in the, uh, as far as uh, education, we think from here. Mm -hmm. And what Estria has tried to portray to the kids is that it, if you can actually think from within, mm. and so when we meditate, we're not just thinking here, but we're thinking from within ourselves yes. and trying to connect from above yes. to the ground. And mm -hmm. so um, by learning that, the kids are able to meditate with each other and to get ideas and then to transfer them to the wall. Mm -hmm. So we work with um, kapunas in the area, uh, old um, kapunas in the area, plus we work with community members. So Mele Murals is a lot bigger than just painting a mural. It's not just yeah. one artist. Hmm. It's a so, bunch of a Yeah, I was going to say community. that. It sounds like there is a lead artist. Yes. And then children who have never painted before. No, no. Oh, yeah. goodness. This sounds wonderful. You know, it, so. it really is because it's not just about one artist, but it's about several artists. So um, I think we actually have some of your work. Yes. It sounds like this is amazing. I want to show our audience just how awesome your work has been um, as you have worked in the community. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can share a little bit about these pictures. Um, this is a mural that we did with Stevenson Middle School. Okay, um, beautiful. Within this school, I love there the was colors. about. colors. Yeah. It's amazing. We served about over 600 students here at this school. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then this one is actually of our co-founder, Estria Mishiro. Uh -huh. And he's actually painting a mural at the HPM building in Kona. Okay. That's beautiful. Now, is this an owl? Yes. It is. Okay. Yes. I've seen those all throughout. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yes. This mural is actually at Kaneki High School, and this is where we're based. Um, we're actually based here at Kaneki High School. Okay. So you're local. We're your local. Company. Not, yeah. Yeah? Right here on island at Kaimoki High School? Yes. Wow, look at that. Uh, Absolutely gorgeous. This mural is in Kaneohe, actually, next to Windward Mall. Gorgeous. And so all of these participants had an opportunity to paint? Yes. Well, I call them participants. I hope they were. Yeah. <laughs> and volunteers. <laughs> and volunteers. And volunteers, yeah. Volunteers from where? Um, from the community, from the school. Parents. Really? Yeah. So if a person wanted to, they could volunteer? is what you're saying yes <laughs> and that's how they can support our cause okay um, a lot of ways that they can help is really um, they can even donate a wall if okay. they're a property owner um, they can purchase a membership um, okay. we have annual memberships and a hundred percent of the proceeds go towards uh, supporting our programs Wow um, we also have so supporters. how if someone wanted to mm -hmm. how could they um, participate or, or make a donation to your foundation? They can visit our website at estria.org. Yeah. Okay, so visit the website yeah. at estria.org and you can make a donation to help support Mele Murals and all the wonderful things they do throughout the community with painting murals, um, working with young children. Yes. Right, look at this. This work is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is where Blanche is Pope. this? Where? This is at Blanche Pope Elementary. Oh, gorgeous. So it sounds like you work very closely with the DOE. Oh, yes. A lot of our projects are with, um, and this is here at Kept, uh, Cathedral Kept Catholic Academy. I know, because I was there, <laughs> yeah. and I might be in this picture. I'm not sure. I've had the distinct pleasure and honor of working on several projects with your organization. So I kind of cheated. I know. <laughs> I know a little bit about what you yeah. do, and I'm so glad I've had the opportunity to work with the entire team yes. of artists and volunteers. Yes. As a volunteer, 
I found that painting calms me down. Mm -hmm. It is therapeutic. Mm -hmm. Have others expressed that same thing? Yes. Yeah. Um, a lot of our students who come through our programs actually, um, you notice a change, almost quite like a transformation. I've had one student tell me that by meditating, he's able to calm himself. Mm -hmm. You know, so now he meditates before he gets upset and he reacts. Um, so we teach our students how to meditate. Um, mm -hmm. We have classes, we have our classes at Kamiki High School as well as Kuhio Elementary mm -hmm. and Pololo Elementary. So we're trying to just keep on reaching as many students, as many kids as we can through our different, our various programs, not just through the Mele Murals. Um, mm -hmm. Mele Murals are, is our flagship. Right. Uh, we are known for that. Mm -hmm. But we also have a professional development course that we um, offer uh, teachers within the state. So Wonderful. by doing that, we're affecting change more in the classrooms through mm -hmm. the teachers that sign up through our program. That's awesome. So that's just one of it. Wow, um, there's so many aspects to this company. There is. And yeah. so many wonderful things that you do. And I'd like to kind of share a little bit about when, the, when do you see the transaction or the transition or transformation happen for children while they're meditating or going um, through that process? I guess from day one, Yeah. really. Um, you know, when we talk about the kids, um, our number one goal is to be of service. Right. Um, to inspire, mm -hmm. whether it's through art. Um, for me, the experience goes deeper than just art. Yeah. Um, I see transformation through the kids um, by just how they interact with each other. Mm -hmm. It's not just about one student, mm -hmm. it's about all students. I love um, that. So we encourage teamwork, mm -hmm. uh, collaboration, and most importantly, we want the kids to have fun, you know. So um, Estria, he comes up with these ideas, and so we also have a summer program. Okay. You know, that's funded mostly by uh, private foundations. Mm -hmm. And we're able to provide this for students who would not necessarily have the opportunity to spend five, six weeks creating mm -hmm. art, going wow. on field trips. Yeah. learning about their land, learn, yes. learning about the community. And you see a transformation happen because it's not just the kids. You see the, the parents, uh -huh. you see the teachers, mm -hmm. you see the community just come out and just support this program. And so we are continuing to look for support, mm -hmm. whether, that's, whether that's through corporate sponsors, sponsorship mm -hmm. or through um, just volunteering. Yeah. So yeah. people can volunteer. Yes. They can come out, paint with you all. Yes. Have fun. Yeah. Because we're talking about meditation and yes. painting, but it's also fun. <laughs> it's right? fun. It's also yeah, fun. It's fun. I mean, let's face it. The number one thing you think about when you paint is, I think, Bob Ross. <laughs> Happy little trees, happy little trees. No, it's so <laughs> but much. But when I'm with you guys, it's not about happy little trees. I mean, we've got rainbow colors, we've got students running all around, we've got paint all yeah. over the place. Do you have a big project coming up? We're going to wrap up right yes, now. Yes, actually, um, our next project on our calendar is a project with Aliolani uh, Elementary School, which is in Kaimaki. Um, so that's probably probably going to be our next big project. Okay. So come and okay. volunteer. I just might. <laughs> I just might come and volunteer. I love hanging with you guys. You're, Thanks, you're like family. You know, mm -hmm. I was at the crossroads when I met you all. I just moved to the island and I was walking down the street. It's a funny story. I was walking down the street. Uh, I think that was South King Street I worked with. I don't know if we have that picture. I, we probably don't. Mm -hmm. But I was working there and I saw this group of people and I said, oh, hey, would you guys like to be interviewed for my blog, which I did not have? And uh, the artist says, uh, yeah, sure. And would you like to paint? I'm like, uh, okay. And that's how I got started. Minimal experience, but I had a lot of fun and yeah. I've learned a few things. Yeah. But I mostly, as you've stated, learned about myself. 
And I think that's the beauty of what you all do. It's mm -hmm. so much deeper and it means so much more and it means a lot to the community. So as she has stated, thank you, Tina, if you would like to reach them, they can uh, reach Melon Murals. You can reach them at, what's the email? Uh, www.estria.org and that's spelled E-S-T-R-I-A. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much no, for coming you, on with us today. Yeah, I'm thank so you. happy to see you. And I'm so happy to hear all the wonderful things that you are doing in our community, thank for you. the land, for our people, all people. Yeah, all people. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank all you ages. so much. All ages yeah. and all experience levels. Yeah, you Listen, don't need to know. All <laughs> you know there, is, there are several artists that are out there, right? Yeah. So if you make a mistake, they'll fix it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Whether your trees are happy or not, they'll get it for you. <laughs> yeah, we will. Thank you so much for Thank being you, on with us today. So we've talked a bit about life at the crossroads, and we will we'll talk about it some more. We'll talk about things that are going on in our community. We'll talk about all the wonderful people and what they do to help make us stronger and better as people. Um, and hopefully you'll get drawn in and find out that life at the crossroads is a lot of fun. So Tita, it's been great. Thanks, Keisha. Florenza, I believe, <laughs> is off the line now, but thank you so much for being here. And thank you, our viewers, for watching today. Thank you.